Well, welcome to the Top Gun Show, where I try to bring you new providers, new technologies, and introduce you to the best professionals in the industry, all so you can make informed decisions. Today, I'd like to welcome a special guest. I'd like to welcome Rich Vidal, the VP Solutions Architecture for the Americas for GTT, the sponsor of the Top Gun Show. Rich, like I mentioned, is a Vice President of Solutions Architecture. He's a telecom industry veteran with over 30 years of experience in specializing leading edge technologies. Prior to GTT, Richard held senior technical leadership positions with CenturyLink, UReach Technologies, 3Com, Lucent, and AT&T Bell Labs. He holds a BSEE from Penn State and MSEE from Carnegie Mellon. Welcome to the Top Gun Show. Thank you, glad to be here. Nice to have you on. Well, last week we had uh, your CIO, CISO, James Carini on the show. And one item that we didn't have time to discuss is the impact of the GTT Global Tier 1 Backbone. Can you help me and the viewers understand why the network still matters? Yes, absolutely. Uh, the short answer, Steve, is the network still matters because the internet matters, and it matters more now, arguably, than it ever has in any other point in history, in terms of the content, the applications that we deliver over it, uh, and in terms of the connectivity it provides. So GTT, having a tier one network means we have a privileged position in the hierarchy of internet providers. We're at the top of the hierarchy. And as a practical matter, that means that our customers using our network can get to the destinations they need to on the internet, traversing fewer networks in the process. That generally means lower latency and better performance, getting content, using applications, or providing, for instance, an underlay to an enterprise SD-WAN. Yeah, you know, that's intriguing, but I thought we lived in an edge-focused world or everything is as a service. Does the tier one network still matter as we move towards an average as a service model and away from office locations? Yeah, and in fact, even more so in my opinion, as a service consumption, which is extremely popular, really is primarily delivered over the internet. And many of those application providers use tier ones like GTT as their primary internet providers. And that means if you're using our backbone to access those as a service applications, you're going to have the most robust, high performing access into them. You also touched on another really key point, which is being outside of our offices. I mean, in my opinion, the, the remote work or work from anywhere phenomenon we have now was kind of the last nail that went into the traditional enterprise WANs coffin, right? First, our applications moved outside the enterprise walls, and now most of our users are too. So what was the enterprise WAN is now the internet with a combination of SD-WAN and cloud security making that all work. So again, having that tier one backbone means our users can get better access into the internet and the applications they're looking for. And we can also use our backbone to provide a, a better than internet performance for all of the private virtual networking that can still connect them with one another, with locations, or with any uh, legacy apps they might still have in their data centers. Yeah, well, you know, it's great to hear that a tier one backbone like GTT is extremely relevant today. But let's talk about tomorrow. What do you see around the corner? What's the next big thing for GTT? Yeah, that's that's a good question. And I think there, there are several things that come to mind. One is 5G. Uh, not that 5G is brand new. It's, it's here, but I think its evolution and its build out is going to have a pretty profound influence on our industry. Uh, as the, the mid-band and the high-band 5G uh, gets built out, that means more users and more locations will be able to get fiber-like speeds off of 5G. And I think that's important <clears throat> in our industry. I think quantum computing and quantum networking are interesting things that could potentially really uh, upend some of the things about our industry, although it's not very clear when that might happen. So I guess probably the best example might be artificial intelligence. Uh, and I say that because it's so broadly applicable. Like for instance, as a network operator, GTT uses AI to help us understand our own network and how it behaves. And we also can use AI as part of the solutions that we give to our clients so that they can get better understanding, better insight into how they use our services uh, and how they can better optimize their costs and their performance. And it also applies very generally across our security portfolio. Uh, for instance, we provide a managed detection and response service, and, and that essentially is a service where you comb through a lot of data 
a lot of logs from, from different security devices and servers to try to find signs of any kind of a breach or compromise to a network. So it's a great, great thing for artificial intelligence to assist in. It's already doing that, but I, I expect that's gonna continue to mature and get better and better and allow us to provide even better detection and remediation services. So I'm gonna go that's, with artificial intelligence. That's great, That that's a, that's a great answer. I, I actually just heard on the radio yesterday, uh, an expert was predicting that AI would discover the cure for cancer because it's going to help think, you know, humans ability to do that. But that's for another episode. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> well, Rich, um, I like to close the show with something personal about yourself. So um, to my question for you is to date, and you're still a young guy to date, what has been one of the greatest accomplishments of your life? Wow, that's that's a big one. I'm going to have to say uh, being a dad, actually. Uh, my I have two kids. My oldest is going to be a sophomore in college and my youngest is uh, a senior in high school. So we're at that special time in their lives where they're making some key decisions. And, and it's really great to have gotten them this far. And I'm really looking forward to helping them through the next few years and getting launched into their careers and their lives. Great answer, man. I love that. I love that. And congratulations. I mean, it is a it is a, a very big blessing to be a to be a father and to raise kids that that hopefully turn out to be good human beings, you know, and contribute to society. So um, so that's great. Well, Rich, I know you're a busy guy. It's been an honor to have you on the Top Gun show. Thank you for carving out time out of your busy schedule to spend it with us. Thank you, Steve. It was a pleasure. And thanks for watching, everybody.